Hello again. I want to share with you a program I just found out about, well, didn't just recently, but within the last month or so, I just haven't made a tutorial. It's the Open Element web page design. It is a uh, free download. There's nothing to it where you need to pay, with the exception of if you want expert analysis of your web page. And I'll show you what I mean by that. For right now, let's make a new web uh, project. And when it comes up, you're going to name it. Let's call it Responsive Test 1. I do not want to use a template. I'm going to create a very simple, very simple web page for this tutorial. And yes, I do want a folder made for it. Okay, and then you'll notice, let's see, well, maybe not. Well, maybe you'll notice. Nope, you won't. Down here it says how to improve your web page. If you want to pay them for expert analysis on how to improve your web page, you can do that. Otherwise, this is totally free. Okay, so let's do something. Let's make an image here. And let's add an image from my list of images. Okay. It's a little bit big. Let's go to Styles. Customize. Let's make this about 350 wide by 250 high. That works. And let's add some text. Let's do multi-line text. And just for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and just copy this. Control C and Control V. Until we have something that resembles a multi-line text. Do it a few more times. No, this is not the most fun thing to watch, so I'm trying okay, that's that's probably well find something I have. Let's try this. Uh well let me do it. Okay, go alright, no Okay. There we go. Now this is some text. Let's copy this. Let's put it here. Paste it. There you go. Now you have a bunch of text. Let's bring this footer down past our text box here. Now, if you, now you can automatically center that by hitting auto center same thing for a text box here now everything's centered, you save it you go over here to preview it and this is what your web page will look like not bad, not great but at least you know you can do this without having to code so now you want to make a responsive web page okay well this is not responsive if you pull this back up and try to resize this it does nothing okay what we have to do is make containers for this and we're going to select this move this down and real quick go to our elements and go down to where it says group of elements bring that over this is our container now so let's call this container our div container that works and then what we want to do is we want to make this responsive so we're going to have to change it from absolute to relative and in the properties or the styles we're going to have to change the width to 100% width so change the pixels to a percentage and change the value to 100 and then you do not want any other values down here okay so that's fine the height later you're going to change to automatic but not right now up here at the top go to page go to responsive and then go to width 100% full window and then it goes back to the height and you want to go to adapt to content let's try that and see how everything works let's bring this over 
Now, wait a minute, why didn't it go to 100%? That's weird. Percentage 100. Okay. Now, as you drag things into this, it's going to fill up. So if you want this to be at the top of the page, put that in first. If you wanted this to be at the top of the page, put that in first. You can move them around later, but sometimes it becomes a pain in this program to do so. Okay, so that's in there. You see how it light, highlights like that? That's in there. Now, that's not what you don't want, though. You don't want to have a frame inside of a frame. You want this to be responsive. So if you go ahead and save it and look at it now, you're not going to be happy with, with what you see. So let's pull our browser back up. Refresh it. Okay, see? It's not doing what we want. So we're on the div container. We want to make this now our automatic height. Now save it. And go back to our browser and pre refresh and preview. And we still have a problem. Our problem is that our objects are not responsive our div container is but these aren't so now we we click on this frame here or this image object and let's keep it percentage but we're not going to go with 100% we're going to go with 51% or 51.6% and then we want to go with the height at or around let's see let's change that to percentage no, we don't want 98. Let's do 28%. Let's try 20%. Okay, it might be better. And let's leave that like that. Let's change it to the center, though. And on the uh, text frame here, text box, let's make them both auto. And let's see how they work. So let's go to page, save it, preview our browser, refresh. And I think we might have done it. I think we did it. If I can get to my browser. It's resizing. And there you have it. Responsive web design inside of Open Elements. It's not hard. There's no code involved. And you see that the picture and the text resizes. This would be a thousand. 1024 thereabouts by I would say right now probably 700 going high so maybe 600 going high um, as you resize it down if I can get to it you have a tablet view and some tablets now are, are 1024 to 1200 or even full HD um, phones about 700 maybe down to 480 older phones this small, 220, 200, but most phones now are, are bar phones, and you know they have about I want to say between 480 to 600, 640 width and pixels. Um, but you can see it's going to work across most platforms, and there was no code involved. That was, that was the easiest part about the whole thing. Now we can talk about code if you like. Um, shows you a little bit here what you can see from what it's generated it's giving you your jQuery which is your JavaScript code and I do not see where your CSS I see it there but I do not see where it's applied here other than up there so you'd have to actually go to the folder and I'm running out of time so let me see if I can find that one second let me pause it okay real quick you will see not what I wanted you to see. Where is the code? Oh, come on. Where is the code? I just had it. That's just crazy. That is not all of it. Oh, I goes with what I can in mind. Well, let me show it to you in a different I only got yep, never mind. 